Let's look at how to initialize this disk so that you can start using it. When you finish changing your NVMe or you've just installed a new SSD that is the old 2.5 inch variation, you might want to set it all up on the computer properly so that it actually starts running. Over here I've loaded disk management. If you want to load disk management, you just click on start and type disk management and it'll give you the right one here in the control panel. Once you click on it, it will usually pop up with a menu if you've got a new disk to say initialize this disk. Now if you're given the choice between MBR and GPT, choose GPT if you've got a newer disk. Usually the MBR are for the older hard disks. Over here you see disk 1, it's basic, we're going to right click on this section here and then say new simple volume. The wizard will pop up, we're going to click next. Leave this here because we want it to be the default size, which is the maximum, unless you want to change it for some reason. Then next we're going to assign a drive letter. Now I already have a drive letter. E, which was my original one. I've, so I've decided to just change it. You can change it to any letter that you're not currently using. I'm going to call it H. Next. The file system, we're going to leave it on NTFS. We're going to leave the allocation unit size on default. And the new volume, I'm just going to call OS because that's my operating system. I'm going to perform a quick format. You can double check all the stuff. And now I'm click finish to format. And that's it. Over here you can see that the disk is now functional. I'm going to migrate my operating system to this one from my old SSD to this new version. You can also click on properties, make sure that it's got the right amount of space.